Malnourished, wandering aimlessly and left for dead, three greyhound dogs were recently found outside of one New Mexico town. A local rescue group says it's proof of an out-of-control problem here. Here's News 13's Jeff Todd. I would love for these dogs to be able to talk and tell us what they've been through because I'm sure we'd all be mortified. She still shows signs of abuse. A good chunk of her ear is missing and she has just started to eat again. Tawny was rescued this week from a shelter in Carlsbad and is a model for greyhound abuse. And they said she's emaciated. We don't know if she's going to make it. She's not eating. Now, a few days later, she started to gain weight and two of her friends have shown up. Trixie the puppy and a friendly fellow, Foster. We're sure these three know each other, have been together because they were so excited to see each other. The dogs are now at temporary homes, being cared for by volunteers from Greyhound Companions of New Mexico. The animals were in bad shape when they were found. They all had horrible ticks and fleas too, and the ticks were awful. Paulson says the greyhound racing industry considers these dogs expendable, and people, usually hunters, can get dogs for practically free. In turn, she says the owners don't take care of them. Volunteers say they usually find greyhounds in the eastern part of the state, roaming alone and often abused. It's inhumane. It's further exploitation. They're exploited on the track to begin with. The hunting is the second time they're exploited. Only it's even worse because the hunters really don't call them back. You know, if they're not going to come back, they're left out there to die. These three were able to make it to a shelter. Paulson's hoping that they can be adopted and start a new, healthy chapter in their lives. All of them can learn to live in a home and be a pet, and they crave it. Jeff Todd, KRQE News 13. To find out more about the Greyhounds, visit us online at krqe.com. New Mexico State.